Welcome to another installment of my Fantasy Hitters series. We're talking about outfielders now. The top 30 outfielders. I'm going to go through 30 players. Are you ready? Because I'm not sure I am. But anyway, let's go. I got it all written down, and we're going to go for it. Number one, do I go Braun? Do I go Trout? I'm going to go Braun. He's got the history. He's got the history of doing this every year. 320. 30-30 potential, 100-plus RBIs, love the guy. A um, little wary about what's going on with the steroid issue. You'd hate to lose your first overall pick or number one pick, first round pick for something like that. So that scares me a little bit. I'm still going to make him number one, though, because go big or go home. I hate cliches. Mike Trout, number two. Uh, this guy's going to hover around 300 again. I think he's going to hover around 300 his whole career, probably hit 20 home runs every year. I think he really has the potential to steal 50, 60 bags, and that's going to be exciting to watch. Love this kid. Um, who knows what's going to fall, what records are going to fall by the time he's done. If he stays healthy, yeah, he's just, the kid's wild, man. Love the guy. Matt Kep, number three. Uh, 300, 300 hitter, 30, 30 potential. Love it. Almost probably 100 RBIs as well. Just love the guy. And I think I think he's going to be a nice piece in that Dodger puzzle. As long as he stays healthy, this Dodger team is going to be crazy, crazy good. And Matt Kemp is going to be a big part of that. Number four, right behind him, number four, I got Andrew McCutcheon. Another guy with 30-30 potential, 100-plus RBI potential. Love him. He's only 26 years old, people. 26 years old. Um, he is on par to just burst, and he had a great year last year, and I expect him to have another good one. Don't know if he's going to hit 320 again, but he's going to hit around 300. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton, this is the only man Stanton, only man standing in Miami after the huge trade. Uh, 40 home run potential, maybe 90 RBIs. It's going to come at about a 260, 270 batting average. I think his batting average was nice last year, but being the fact he's the only hitter in this lineup, he's going to be pressing a little bit, which is going to mean some home runs, but it's also going to mean some strikeouts and some deep fly balls as well. Number six, I have Carlos Gonzalez. Um, not a 30-30 guy anymore. Going to hover around 300, probably hit 30 home runs, but if he steals... If he steals 15 bags, I think Colorado would be ecstatic. This is a guy that hasn't been, that always seems to miss 20 to 30 games every year for whatever reason. So I'm not sure he's going to be stealing too many bags. But uh, he's going to hit you 30 home runs probably. Uh, number seven, I have Josh Hamilton. I think Josh is going to take a little bit of a step back. I don't think he's going to explode like he did last year. I see 25, 30 home runs, maybe 80 RBIs maybe like around 270 batting average. They don't need him to hit 40 home runs and drive in 100 plus. Uh, and I think they're going to be cautious with him. He's going to take some days off be because of the, they have the crowded outfield there. And they don't. They want to keep him healthy for the postseason, and I think that's going to be a main focus there. I mean, he's certainly going to get Certainly going to get his, but I don't think he's going to have outrageous numbers that demand that you take him in the first round. Number eight, Justin Upton. 20-20 potential, 30-30 potential, I should say. I think he's going to come back to form. He's in a place that wants him. Atlanta is thrilled to death to have him and his brother. And 30-30 potential, I think he's going to hit around 300, drive in 80-plus 80 80 plus runs. Uh, B.J. Upton, another 30-30 potential guy. Not a great batting average. If he can get, if he can hit 260, I think Atlanta's going to be super, super happy. Um, you know, his power numbers are always there. He's stealing less and less nowadays, but I think, I think he still has the potential to steal 30. Uh, number 10, I have Jay Bruce. Uh, this guy's batting average is, seems to be taking a hit lately, but I think he's certainly going to hit 30 plus home runs, maybe 100 RBIs. It might come at a 260 batting average, but. 30, 35 home runs, 260, I'll take it. Number 11, I have Adam Jones. This guy's going to hover around 300. He has, certainly has 20, 20 potential and might even hit more home runs. Um, he's not stealing as much as he is. He's kind of mainly focused on hitting now. So, you know, 
25. I have him, I have him slated for 25 home runs. Um, I think that's a very, very nice number. If he hits more than that, I'd be surprised. If he hits under that, I will not be surprised. Number 12, I have Jason Hayward, another Atlanta Brave, another 30-30 potential guy. Um, this Braves team is stacked. They have so much in that outfield. They could be 1-2-3 in this lineup if they want. I'm not sure what they're going to do. But Hayward is a great hitter, had a nice step forward last year, and I think he's going to continue that trend. Uh, the batting average might not be up there like it was last year, but certainly 20-20 potential, maybe 30-30 potential. Number 13, I have Ioannis Yo Cespedes. Um, a lot of people are super, super psyched about what this guy's going to do this year. I'm a little more realistic. I think, I think a 30-20 year is possible, 280, 80-plus RBIs. Um, I think maybe a couple years from now this guy might this guy might really do some damage, but this year I think he's just going to be a, a nice a nice modest 2020 possible hitter. Uh, number 14 again I have Ben Zobrist again this guy's going to give you 20 home run power not not a great batting average maybe still a dozen bags. Number 15 I have Jacoby Ellsbury I think he is going to return I think he's going to do the 2030 thing this year 20 home runs 30 plus steals. Maybe driving 80 runs. I'm not sure where they're going to hit him in the lineup, so that number could slide down to more like 50 if he's at the top of that lineup. But I really like this guy at maybe like 5 or 6 in this lineup. But I think he might hit leadoff. We'll see what, how they go there. Even if he hits 2 and they let Pedroia lead off, I think he's he has the potential to drive in a lot of runs with his bat just because he's a nice contact hitter but he also can hit the ball out of the ballpark I really like him I think if he remains healthy he could have a decent year number 16 I have Bryce Harper the other phenon uh, 2020 potential hover around 300 maybe driving 60 plus RBIs number 17 I have Matt Halliday I think he's gonna take a step back a little bit batting average wise this year uh, he does have 25 30 home run power maybe driving 60 to 80 RBIs Number 18, I have Alan Craig. Alan Craig was also on my first baseman list. This guy has 30 home run potential. I think he's only going to hit about 20 so this year, but he's going to hit around 300 and maybe drive an 80 plus. Number 19, Michael Bourne. This is a guy that's going to be the top of the Cleveland lineup. He's going to probably hit around 280. Not a lot of power, but he has 40 stolen base potential, people. So that's something you want in your fantasy team. You do take a little bit of a hit with those 40 bases because he doesn't have a lot of power, but he's a great batting average guy, and he's going to score some runs. If your fantasy league does not include runs, get out of it. Number 20, Desmond Jennings. Uh, Desmond has 30-20 power, 30-20, excuse me, 20-30 potential as well. That's, again, 20 home runs, 30 stolen bases. Um, not a great batting average guy as of yet, um, but this could be really a good year for him. Uh, I see 270, 260, a, a potential batting average for him because I think he's going to hit towards the top of that Atlanta lineup with BJ, or excuse me, Tampa lineup with BJ gone, BJ Upton gone. So his batting average is going to take a hit, but he's going to steal some bags and he's going to score some runs. 20 home runs might be the, the career high for him, but I really like him and I think he's just going to get better with age. Uh, number 21, I have Alex Rios, another 2020 potential guy. Hover around 300 batting average possible. Um, this is a guy that has good years and he has bad years. Uh, is this going to be a bad year since he had such a great year last year? Maybe. I don't think. I think he's just going to kind of level off at where he's at from last year. So, again, hover around 300, 2020 potential. Number 22, I have Alex Gordon. I think Gordon is going to take a little bit of a batting average hit this year. The guy hit right around 300 last year, but he's going to be at the top of this Kansas City lineup. So I, I think that's going to be hurt his batting average, but again, another 20-20 potential guy, and you got to love that. Carlos Gomez. This is a guy that's not a great batting average guy, but he has 30-30 potential. He's another Milwaukee Brewer. I have the entire Milwaukee Brewer, Brewers outfield in my top 30, and I think Gomez is really taken his lumps he's had his struggles he's been through some teams he's found a place here I think they are ready to let him fly and 30-30 could be a very strong possibility for him he's probably going to hit around 250-260 which that's why he's so far down on my list but I see 20-25 home runs maybe 30 stolen bases possible 30-30 though 
Uh, number 24, I have Shin Shu Chu. Nice change of scenery for Chu. 2020 potential. Hit about 300 in Cincinnati. He's going to, I think, have a better power year than he's maybe ever had. I think he could hit up to 25. I'm going to conservatively give him about 19 to 20, but if he could hit 25 in that ballpark. And a great batting average guy, a nice a nice swap there since they sent Drew Stubbs to Cleveland. They got a lot of batting average out of Chu. They gave up a little speed, but they got a lot of batting average, and they're going to like this, like this move going forward. Number 25, I have Alejandro de Aza. Diazza is getting up there in age, kind of a late bloomer for a major league player, but he certainly is very grateful for where he's at now, and I think he has potential to hit about 15 home runs and swipe about 30 bags. About 270 batting average because he's a top of the lineup kind of guy. Shane Victorino, number 26. Victorino, not a great batting average guy anymore, but he does have, you know, double-digit home run power and maybe steal you about 30 bags. Number 27, I have Melky Cabrera. Um, the milkman and me have some unfortunate connections, but um, I think I, I went down a sinking ship with, with Melky Cabrera last year with one, one of my fantasy teams. It was kind of the detriment to everything. Um, so, but I think he's going to prove to people that he is a good player. I think he's got 20-20 potential, hit around 280. Um, he's going to drive in a lot. He's going to drive in some runs in this Toronto lineup, but he's going to score some runs too. I think he's a nice number two hole hitter. They could have Reyes at the top of that lineup, and he's going to hit number two, and that's going to be very nice, very nice potential there. Number 28, I got Mark Trumbo, 40 home run power. Definitely. Sorry, there's a noise in my kitchen here. Mark Trumbo, 40 home run power. Definitely, it's going to come at a 260 batting average. But the guy's going to hit 40 home runs. you got to love it. you got to love it. And he's going to drive at 90. Um, he's going to hit behind Pujols and Hamilton, probably. I mean, who, who wouldn't want to hit right there? Seriously. Uh, number 29, I have Nick Markakis. Nick is a nice, always annual 300 hitter. Um, 2020 potential, more probably like 15 to 20 home runs, maybe 10 to 12 stolen bases. I'm not seeing Baltimore being a very good team this year, so I think Nick's going to have to give his all and be a solid leader for this team. Number 30, the end of my list, I have Norichio, or Norichiko Oki, uh, that is the uh, right fielder for the B Milwaukee Brewers, the third outfielder on this list. Uh, 12 to 15 home run potential, 30 stolen bases, hits you around 270 at the top of this lineup. I really like what he does. Uh, this Brewers team is going to be excited, exciting to watch offensively. I think their pitching staff has some issues, but this Brewers team is going to be very nice offensively. Um, a notable submission to my, my top 30, I do not have Hunter Pence on there. I can assure you that was intentional. I think Pence is going to not be... The player he was, he he just doesn't steal bags and he doesn't hit home runs anymore. And that's what that's what that's those are main, two main things that you want fancy. Yes, he's a good batting average guy, and yes, he's going to drive in 60 to 80 80 RBIs, but he's going to hit 280, maybe 15 home runs, probably won't even steal 10 bags. So that's why he's not on my top 30. I'm sorry, Hunter. I like you. I think you got a great baseball name, and I think you're a great, exciting player to watch. But you're not in my top 30. And I probably talked about you longer than I talked about anybody else. But anyway, this has been my fantasy top 30 outfielders for 2013. Thank you for listening. I want to send out a shout, shout out to my number one fan, Braves1025. Yes, I got all three of your outfielders in this top 32, buddy. So take care. Bye.